goal when we started working on enemy territory quake wars with id software was really to evolve the team play that had existed in its spiritual predecessor the award-winning wolfenstein enemy territory so we wanted to focus this even further by having the military objectives count for even more when the teams progress forward team play team play team play has been the focus Let's the go. big difference in enemy territory is the idea that the team that works together best is the team that wins it's not just the team that has the best shooters on it. So in the game, each team makes use of a varying array of character classes, each of them carrying different weapons, tools, items, having special abilities and earning different rewards as they play. But also the two teams have completely different vehicles and deployables. In each of the maps that exist in the game, the teams are fighting over a common objective. objective. Let's say, for example, blowing up a generator the charge and let's get out or of here. constructing a bridge for your vehicles to get across. This becomes an objective. So the objective system in enemy territory is a way to bring the team together to focus on a common specific task. When you think about what enemy territory is all about, it really is uh, trying to get a group of people that work together on a common objective. Uh, a military mission. And rather than a sporting event where I may take a point and you take a point and I get another point back, this is uh, like a story. Each military objective leads to another one, it leads to another one. And once I take it, you, you can't get it back. It's that intense moment, that 30 seconds or that minute of sort of battling your way into there and getting something that they can't take back is just something you don't experience in a different type of game and I still think that that from the beginning has been my most enjoyable part of the game and it still remains my most enjoyable part of the game. Defend the objective. 